In this video, we'll create a responsive navigation menu with a search bar in it. So let's take a look at it here. So at the very left, we have our home link, which is our active link with the blue shade. Then as we scroll over the other links, they're going to give us this darker gray color. And then off to the right, we have our search bar with the uh, magnifying glass off to the right here. That's also going to change colors when we hover over it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the mobile version here on the right. So we're, we'll see that all of our navigation links as well as the search bar and the button are going to take up 100% of the screen. And as we flex it down at 768 pixels, it's going to change to the mobile version. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side and then I'm going to show you what we need to get started. So in the description of this video will be the responsive search bar navigation menu starter files. So we have index.html here if you want to follow along with me and then the completed version off to the right included in the download. So the program that I'm going to be using to build the navigation is the free programmed uh, text editor Sublime Text and then I'm going to have it open in Google Chrome as we're developing the navigation menu. Okay, so let's take a look at what's included in the starter files if you want to follow along here. So as you can see, we have an HTML document with Font Awesome included here linked in the head section. So that's going to allow us to add this magnifying glass icon. And then we have uh, our style section built into index.html, which we'll do locally. And then we have a heading and some text at the bottom already started for us. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with our first tag. So let's start off with the HTML5 tag nav and then inside of it we'll have our navigation links. So the first one will be active, the blue link, and then I'm just going to leave the link itself blank right now with a hashtag and then type in home. Okay, and then I'll just create the next one which is about and then we have services followed by the portfolio link and then the last one is contact okay so let's go over to the starter file here and here we have our navigation links up top displaying inline for us already. And now let's add our search button. So we're going to start this off with a div class that we'll call search-container. And then you can drop down and close out the div. And then we'll use the form tag here. We're going to say form action. And this is where you want to add the link for your PHP uh, file or document that's going to process the search. So we're not going to actually have that in here, um, but I'll just put a sort of placeholder PHP file in here. Okay, and then you can close out the form tag, and then we'll have our input. So we're going to say input type text, and then placeholder, which is just search dot dot dot. and then for the name we'll just write search okay then after our input section we have the button where we have the font awesome icon so we'll say button and we're gonna give this a type and say submit and then inside of our button tag we'll have an I class for our font awesome icon so that is FAS, FA-search. And if you go to or do a Google search for font awesome icons, you can put in any style icon you want here. Okay, so now if we refresh, there we have our input section followed by our button. Okay, and then lastly for our HTML, let's go ahead and just add the my logo text at the top, which is inside of a header tag and a heading one. So H1 my logo. Okay, so there we have it at the top there. 
And that's everything for our HTML. So let's go up to the style section here, since we're doing an internal style for the sake of the uh, flow of the video. And the first thing that we're going to do is a reset style, an asterisk for the HTML document itself. And we're just going to say box sizing border box. And then we'll also do a reset on the body. So we're just going to say margin zero. And then let's change the font family to Arial. So this is going to get rid of the margin to the left, especially. Actually, all around. And then we'll say font family Arial Helvetica. And you'll have to check me on the spelling here. And then sans serif. Okay, so now if we refresh, we'll have a change in our font there, which looks a little softer on the corners. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just style our HTML5 tag nav. So we're going to say nav overflow hidden. So we don't see anything outside of the navigation bar if it wants to overflow. And then we'll give it its gray background color, which is E9, E9, E9. Okay, so now if we refresh, there we have it already taking up the uh, full width. So now let's style our links. So nav A for our links. And then we're going to say float left, display block. And then let's get rid of the um, the underline there so color black and text decoration none okay and then let's give them some padding to space them out so we'll say padding 14 pixels top bottom 16 pixels left right alright so now it's starting to take its form and then let's also center our navigation links and then we'll change the font size. So we'll say text align center and then let's change the font size to 18 pixels from 16 pixels which is the inherent font size with Google Chrome. Okay so that looks pretty good. So now let's style or add the color for our links. So we'll say nav a hover and this will be the darker gray background color. So it's C6, C6, C6. And for the um, home link, which is the active class, as you can see here, We'll say nav a dot active and we'll give it the blue hex value. So background color 2980B9. And then let's change the color of the text to white. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So now we can go ahead and move over to our search bar here. So we'll want to reference the div class search container that wraps it. So we'll say dot for the class search dash container. Or let's use uh, the nav tag first, actually. And then dot search dash container float right. So now it's going to push off to the right side here. And then we'll want to reference the, uh, the input. So the section where we would place our text to search. So we'll say nav input and then type text. Okay, so nav input and then in brackets, type equals text. 
and then you can open and close your swirly brackets and we'll say padding six pixels all around and we'll change the font size also so let's make the font uh, 17 pixels okay and then we'll want to push it away from the top there to center it so let's say margin top 8 pixels and let's take away the border so border none okay so that looks pretty good aside from us needing to style the uh, the button here so let's go ahead and reference that with the HTML5 button tag okay so we'll say nav dot search dash container button and we'll tell it to float right and then let's add its padding of six pixels top bottom and ten pixels left right and similar to the um, the input section we'll want to add some margin to the top so we'll say margin top 8 pixels and margin right 16 pixels because we don't want it pushed all the way up to the right here so margin right 16 pixels And then let's also change the background color. So we'll change it to C6, 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 which is the same as the hover color when we hover over navigation links. And let's change the font size to 17 pixels for the, uh, the icon there. OK, so that looks pretty good except for the border. So let's go ahead and take away the border and let's give it the um, the pointer cursor so we're not just seeing the arrow cursor when we hover over it. So border none, cursor, pointer. Okay, so that looks good. And now let's just add the hover effect that you're seeing here with a darker gray hex value. So we'll say nav dot search container button colon hover and let's change the background to hex value 9a 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 okay so there we have it so now what we'll want to do is let's go ahead and just center the um, the my logo text and then we'll move on to our responsive styling for the uh, navigation menu so we'll just say h1 text align center okay and now we can move down to the media query that's already started for us at 768 pixels so feel free to make it narrower if you want it to change it, say, 576 pixels or so. But you might have a little bit of overlap with the um, search bar and the nav links if you go too narrow. OK, so let's reference our links, our input type text, our search container and our button also so we're basically gonna apply the same styles to a number of these to make them full width so we're gonna say float none so they're not floating to the left or right okay 
and then display block so now we have our search button beneath the input section and text align left since the finished version doesn't have the text centered it has it pushed off to the left as you can see here okay and then we'll say width 100 percent all right so that took care of our search input and the button and then margin zero and padding 14 pixels all around so that's not going to change the nav links but it will make the search input and the button a little wider so let's actually take out uh, the search container reference here so we'll leave the button in there but let's take out nav.searchcontainer and all we want to apply to this rather than applying everything is float none okay there we go so now we don't have the uh, the margin or padding on the sides and then lastly let's add a border to our input section so we're going to say nav input type text border one pixel solid and hex value CCC which is a gray shade okay so now if we refresh there we have the border and it's looking just like the original now so that does it I want to thank you for sticking around with me uh, for this responsive search bar navigation menu tutorial Please remember to like this video, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Then I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.